In this Arduino tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove delay from a sketch that you've seen, so that way you can use it in multitasking with the Arduino. The delay function is a blocking function, so we can't do other things at the same time. So here I have the example servo sketch. This is from the servo library, originally made by Michael Renault and then modified by Scott Fitzgerald. This is available in the Arduino IDE under examples, and it also is available on the Arduino site. But as you can see on line 25, there's a delay. So how do we remove this delay so we can use servo and our potentiometer and do other things like blink an LED? So first, what I'm going to do is up at the top, I'm gonna to make some new variables. I'm going to make an unsigned long variable called current milliseconds. And we'll have that equal to zero. Now, most of the Arduino examples use current millis, but I like to be explicit so we know it's the current milliseconds. Then I add a comment just to remind me what that is. Now I'm going to add another unsigned long. This is unsigned long previous milliseconds knob. So I want to label that because there might be other previous milliseconds if you have multiple timers. And this way we have less chance of having a variable collision. And then I'll also comment this out. So now we have the two timekeeping things, but now we need to know the interval that we're going to use to recheck these. So that can just be an integer in this case. So I'm going to type INT, and then we'll label this variable, we'll call it knob interval, and we'll have this equal to 15 milliseconds. So these are the three variables that we need to be able to set up a millisecond timer to replace the delay in the servo knob example sketch. Now we can go all the way down to the loop. And at the top of the loop, what we want to do right away is we want to call the millis function. This gets the current time in milliseconds from the start of the program. So we only have to do this once and we can write. So now we have current milliseconds at the very beginning of the loop, it gets the time in milliseconds. And we can use this in multiple timers. The next thing to do is make the if conditional statement that does the actual timing function. Basically, we check what time it is now, what time was it previously, and is the difference greater than how long we want to wait. So to do that, we write. So here we have if current milliseconds minus previous milliseconds knob is greater than or equal to knob interval, then do the thing. So now, we need to put the other code inside this. But before we do that, we want to put in some code that resets the timer each time. So what we do is we write previous milliseconds knob equals millis. This way now it's reset. So the next time we check this function, it will have a new previous milliseconds knob. So now underneath this, we can go ahead and put the code that we wanna have happen every 15 milliseconds. So I'll just go ahead and copy these three lines right here. And I'm actually going to cut them by pressing Control X or Command X. And then I'm gonna paste them right here. And then you can right click Format Document to get your formatting back the way it should be. And check this out, now we can delete this delay. And then I always like to put in a little comment just to remind myself what's happening. But once you start using these timers, you'll recognize this code. So there we go, now we've replaced delay with a millisecond timer. And this way we can add all kinds of other things to this sketch and do them at the same time with multitasking. And in another video, I'll show you how to combine different Arduino sketches so you can take examples that you find and then combine them together to make a new creative solution to what you wanna do with an Arduino.